am David Levin, and welcome to another revealing episode of Pop Goes the Culture, the behind-the-scenes showbiz stories you wouldn't have known from the stars themselves. Today, in part five of six, Todd Bridges of Different Strokes talks more about his work as a young black actor, plus the strangest network note he ever got. Todd Bridges meets Lloyd Bridges, the memorabilia he kept from Different Strokes. Todd has the greatest collectible ever, and we talk Star Wars. Because, you know, I, you know, it was, you know, at the time that I started, it wasn't very many black kids working. You know, it was just, it was actually just me. You know, I think it just, at one time it was just me, I think at one time. You know, in a lot of the movie of the weeks, so, or, you know, um, I've done about, you know, 12 movie of the weeks, or maybe more than that. Um, see, I worked with um, Elizabeth Montgomery in a movie of the week. O.J. Simpson was in that movie of the week, too. Um, I, um, see, I just, I've worked with so many people. Two different dogs I worked with, you know, Lassie and Boomer. <laughs> um, so, you know, I, I've been in this business all my life. It's, it's nuts. It is nuts. What's the strangest network note you ever got? Any weird sense? I wouldn't say a network note, but I would say I, got a, I, got a, I went for an audition one time. And the strangest note I ever got was someone said to me, could you be a little more black? And I went. Oh, and it'd be tough to get me a little darker. You know, and he's like, oh, well, I need, you know, like, so I, I laughed at that one, you know. Ron Glass got the same note. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They wanted us to be a little blacker. And, and I think at the time they had a perceived notion about how black people sounded. And um, I guess I didn't fit in that category. <laughs> Although I was in Roots. Who'd you play in Roots? I played Chicken George's grandson named Bud. I'm in the last two episodes, four and five and six. Is it five and six or four and five? Or either five and six or four and five. Um, I um, played um, George Sanford Browns, Lynn Moody, and uh, Ben Vereen's. I played Ben Vereen's grandson, George Sanford Brown's son. And I remember I was I had a big scene on the porch with. Um, with the lady, you know, and uh, because they had just grabbed my dad. Uh, and I'll tell you a great story um, about Lloyd Bridges. What a nice, this is one of the nicest people you ever want to meet. He was a fabulous man. No relation. No, no, no relation. Well, I'll tell you, but see, this is how it got started. There was a rumor started for quite a long time, a bunch of years in the business. What happened was I was selling candy for my school and I was doing roots at the time. And Lloyd was like, okay, everybody line up right now. Line up, line up and buy this candy from my grandson right now. Line up. So everybody lined up. I want, need to say I won, I won the drive that year at my school, but you know, that's the rumor we got started that I was Lloyd Bridges' grandson. So everyone went to go, yeah, Lloyd Bridges' grandson. I'm like, no, my, grand, my grandfather's black. <laughs> he lived in San Diego last I checked. You know, and they're like, oh, we heard that. You know, we didn't know. I'm like, okay. Well, Finally, they were saying, yes, he is, you know. What else are they going to say? You can do worse than have white person. Exactly. Yeah, he was, you know, and he was one of the nicest guys you ever wanted to meet. He was just a super guy. Wow. So who's your dad, Jeff or uh, or? Yeah, Bob? that's why I want one of them. I know that they owe me allowance for back pay. <laughs> you know, I think, you know, Bo or Jeff owe me. I think it's, it would have been Jeff Bridges because Bo was younger. So Jeff owes me some back, some back child, not child support, but some back child payment for something. Um, what, any uh, good memorabilia from, uh, from the show? I got great memorabilia from a lot of shows. From Different Strokes, I have a um, jacket that we made, one of a kind, and it says Todd on the front, and it says Different Strokes in the back, one of a kind jacket. But the best memorabilia piece I have right now to this day is, and I may put it on eBay, I'm thinking about it. I have a autographed James O. Jones Darth Vader helmet sign. For your retirement. And I recently got it. I recently got it about um, three months ago. You never get rid of that one. I don't know. Hundred grand, I may let it go. <laughs> I tell you, it's worth, it's worth more than that. It's worth a lot of money. Yeah. I don't think he's ever signed anyone else. He did it for my son. And I, my son was in a movie with him. It's priceless. I, I, I think it is. It says, on one side it says, may the force be with you. And the other side says, um, voice of Darth Vader, James L. Jones. Now you get the other guy, the uh, guy who plays him and who actually does the, what's the guy's name? David. The guy who plays the actual, 
But see, but see, but everyone knows you know the voice, and the that's that's Darth Vader. That's the guy. You cannot be Darth Vader. You know, you can. There's no other Darth Vader. There is no other villain in the world that any people looked up to. People don't look up to villains, but they looked up to Darth Vader. He's, he's, he's perfect villain. <laughs> yeah, he was the ultimate villain. Oh, yeah. one of the best voices. And when I tell you, you go see this night, the newest one they made, and it's just um, incredible. That's my plan this weekend. I saw it, and it's one. It's incredible. It already made three hundred and fifty million dollars the first four days or five days or whatever. Next time, the conclusion of my interview with Todd Bridges. Todd reveals the truth about what you're talking about, Willis, the origins of Gary Coleman's famous catchphrase. Plus, what would Willis Jackson be doing today? And Todd talks about Abe Vigoda, the great guest stars he got to work with. And what would he do with a million dollars? Be with us. Till then, what would you do with a million dollars? Let me know in the comments, and maybe we'll put you on our show. I'll see you next time.